Because sets and the set operations like union and intersection and complement are all defined in terms of some logical condition like or or and or not in, it means that all of those rules of logic that we got, all of those logical equivalencies can be applied to the language of sets and therefore we get a lot of equalities of sets. So, for example, consider this claim. I'm claiming that A union B equals B union A. So, how could we prove a claim like this? Again, I want you to note it's an equality. So, I want to show if it's in the union A union B, then it's in the B union A, and vice versa. If it's in B union A, then it's in A union B. I want to show both sides of that. So, I want to say, show that when my proof is going forward, everything is in biconditional and if and only if. So I'm going to use the element method, namely I'm going to start with an element x which is inside of the A and the B, it's inside of A union B. But the definition of A union B, and by the way all definitions are inherently if and only if. So you don't have to worry about that, if you're applying a definition it is always if and only if. So x is in A union B is the same thing as x is in A or, I'm going to put this symbol for my disjunctive or, x is inside of b. But now we can use a property that we had for disjunctives. We know that two properties that are connected with an or, that I can reverse that order. That I can say that this is the same thing as x inside of b or x is inside of a. Indeed, back in the day we would have verified this logical property by looking at it at a level of truth cables. This is P or Q and this is Q or P and you can verify that they have the same truth table. So this is a logical equivalence. And then I can go backwards. X in B or X in A, this is precisely the same thing as saying that X is in B union A. And so I have a chain of if and only ifs and I get if I start in A union B, I end up in B union A. And the key thing to note here is that the important property is something about logic. The, the reversing the order came down here as a logical property and then because the union was defined in terms of this or statement, you could sort of bring it out of the logical property into the statement about unions. But the same is true in a much larger domain. For instance, we have a de Morgan's law for logic, we have a de Morgan's law for sets. And that idea is going to continue for all of the different logical equivalencies.